106.3 Clue. Having a moment with a rock and roll legend. Hello. Hello. Is this Tom? Yes. Is that Debbie? It is. It's Debbie Starr. Is this the rhythm guitarist, saxophone player, flute, uh, keyboard, backing vocals, etc. guy from Foreigner? Yes. Yes, it is. So, how's it going, Tom? It's going great. How's everything up there? We're having a good summer because it's great weather, and we're having so much live music around here. So, And you guys are going to be yeah. doing a free show. Did you know it's a free show? Ooh. Yeah. Well, I know it's a beautiful festival, and I, I know it's the air and art festival. So yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's make it free. It sure. is. Yeah. People just, uh, they get the Swiss band, and they go in, and uh, it's, I mean, we'll pay you, but don't you worry about that. <laughs> You guys are all like really experienced. What what about you? What what's your experience? Oh gosh, I go back a long ways with Mick Jones and uh, when I first joined, Lou Graham was there, and it was uh, such a treat and an honor and a privilege to work with these guys and to see it develop as it has over the years. It's really turned into a wonderful group now, and it's it's not even new. Yeah. It reformed the band in, in 2004, so I'm no math major, but that's like over 10 years ago. No. Right, I know. It's over eight years ago, and I, I feel like you know my 20 years with the band feels to me like the first 10 were with Lou Graham, and the second 10 have been with a Kelly Hansen, uh-huh. who is just the most amazing front man you'd ever want to see. And we have Jeff Pilson on bass, who has a long history with lots of different bands, from Dokken to Dio and everything in between. So he's a serious rock guy. And, uh, you know, I came from Aerosmith, so that's sort of our collective background. Kelly Hansen, our singer, was in a band called Hurricane in the 80s. Do you remember the 80s? Yeah, vaguely, vaguely. <laughs> I'm going to make a few presumptions here. It said online on Wikipedia. Okay, you were a band geek in college, right? Yeah. And then yeah. you end up in Aerosmith, though. I mean, that must have been exciting. It was the thrill of a lifetime, you know, just getting to know those guys, getting to work with those guys. A big part of the job was singing two-part harmonies with Steven Tyler. Oh, really? Yeah, doing vocal exercises around a piano, and I would play the chords. And we would go, la ga di ga la ga di a <laughs> This is totally normal. <laughs> yeah, that's what singers do. I yeah. really became a singer at that point. I was also playing keyboards and saxophone on a few songs. Mama Kin has a great sax solo. Same old song and dance has a great sax solo. Right. So that it was, you know, it really was like uh, living a dream. You know, I remember sitting down at the piano with Steven and making sure I knew the parts for Dream On. Right. And I'm pretty close. So I said, I want to make sure I play it the same way you do it. And we sat down there and he showed me and he told me stories that he remembered about recording it in the studio. And he said, man, my memory is so clear. And I said, gosh, you know, pinch me. Somebody pinch me. Yeah, right. (laughs) You just kind of got to go, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, it was really kind of a shock. I'm working on Dream On with Steven. 106.3 Clue. Having a moment with a rock and roll legend. With Foreigner, which song is it that's your favorite where the where you get to really break it out? Well, there's a couple. But Urgent is the main one, and that's yeah. got the world-famous uh, recorded solo by Junior Walker. So I get to recreate that. I always do it as a, as a tribute, as an homage to Junior Walker. I want to, And people expect to hear it the way they remember it on the album. So I always try to do it the first part verbatim the way Junior Walker did it in the studio. And then we shift to a different key, and I just get to go crazy on my own. Yeah, that's a real high point for me. And we also do the Long, Long Way From Home, which has some cool sax parts. So those are my big key moments. Overall, I just love every one of the songs. You know, people come to our shows and they say, I knew every one of those songs. I'm like, ooh, that's a good thing. It's going to be a great show. And like I said, it is. It really is free. It's not just me making that up. The venue is neat because Wonderful. it's got like a moat. We built the moat around the stage to protect you from the rabid fans. So you should be safe there. Great. Yeah, I know. I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Our singer, Kelly Ann. And he wants to get in touch with the people. I'll not be surprised to see him swim across the moat. He is a hands-on kind of guy. He, he does uh, crowd surfing. You know, he cool. will dance around in the audience, sit on people's laps, drink their drinks. I'm going to be in the front row, then. and there it is. He kind of looks like Joe Perry to me. Is it? Has anybody else said that? He gets that a lot. I take it as a compliment. Yeah, and right. we have a guitar player that looks like Brian May. You can't go wrong there. Are you guys going to unplug any instruments and do some acoustic stuff? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, we do one song that's all stripped down, nice, acoustic, easy on the eardrums. Uh-huh. So what is usually the encore? Well, <laughs> inside I'm information. To say I could never divulge that information, but. 
but um, it might have something to do with temperature, you know, and it uh, won't be cold yeah. as ice. It might be on the warmer side. All right, well, thanks for taking time to hang out with us. Thanks, Debbie. Look forward to seeing you. We're going to be taking some listeners backstage and stuff, so come by and say hi and get some pictures Wonderful. with you guys and stuff. All right, Tom, we'll talk uh, to you oh, soon. Perfect. Thanks, Debbie.